Hey everybody, Tony here from Tony's Health Tips and today I'm going to show you how uh, you can basically filter your water without buying an expensive water filter. So uh, what we're going to use to prove this point is a device here called a TDS meter and it measures water quality uh, or really parts per million in any liquid. So uh, here we go. We're going to turn on the faucet here and we're going to put a little bit of water in this cup and then we're going to use this device to measure in parts per million essentially how many particles are in the liquid. So all right, the device is in the water. What do we got here? We've got 135. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump out this water. Okay, we're gonna let the water run for a bit. I'm gonna let the water run for, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds, something like that. Then we're gonna put the water in the same cup and we're gonna measure in parts per million what we've got going on here. All right, so we're gonna fill this sucker back up. Everything here is the same. We're using the same container, same temperature water. Uh, everything is the same. I'm gonna use the same meter here and we're gonna put it in the water and I'm gonna reset this guy here, bring it back down to zero. Back down to zero, let's see what we got. So we're putting this meter in here. As you'll remember, we were at 135 before. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep this in here for the same amount of time. We're gonna pause it and let's see what we got. We've got 120. So uh, again, this, this meter measures water quality essentially. You know, if you've got anything over about 250, 300, uh, the water's unsafe. If you're looking at really nice, clean, filtered water, it's probably between 50 and 100. Um, if you replicate this over and over and over throughout the day, you're gonna get the same results. The second time you run this, there's gonna be less contaminants in the water. And that's because we let the water run for a little while before we actually tested the water. So as water sitting in pipes, it's collecting contaminants. So just by simply turning on the faucet for you know a few seconds before you gather your water for whatever purposes, whether you're gonna be cooking with it, whether you're gonna be using it to boil pasta, uh, using it to bake with, drinking throughout the day, uh, we can actually get rid of uh, some of these contaminants, which is fantastic news. Um, of course, I always recommend no tap water. Um, always try to get spring water whenever possible. Um, and if you're gonna use Use filtered water, use reverse osmosis because that takes the sodium fluoride out. So what are these particles that are in the water? Well, that's debatable. Uh, some people would say that, you know, it's, uh, you know, chemicals from the pipes. Um, some people, myself included, would say it's actually res residual pharmaceutical waters. If you believe a 2008 investigation by the USA Today and the Associated Press, um, you know, it's, it's birth control, um, it's uh, sex hormones, pretty much any far antibiotics any pharmaceutical you could think of is in our tap water um, again that's controversial though some people would say no no, no Tony it's just dirt um, it, it's just the metal from the pipes you know lead things like that that's debatable but does it really matter do we want any of those things in our water these particles that we measured on here they're not hydrogen and they're not oxygen therefore they're not water okay the things that are being added to our water either you know residually like i said with the pharmaceuticals or by our government to supposedly clean the water and make the water healthier uh, like sodium fluoride um, or like chlorine these things were never meant to be in our body so either way let's not get into a debate about what these things are that are showing up on this meter the bottom line is we we don't want it in our bodies okay now some people may say Tony that's a that's not a big difference at all you went from 135 down to 120 that's not a considerable difference at all and you're right you know drinking one glass of water that has 135 parts per million of whatever from our tap it's not gonna kill us but one cigarette isn't gonna kill you either but what happens when you keep smoking cigarettes over time there's a cumulative buildup of the toxins that eventually causes disease. And I believe this also happens, um, you know, with things like tap water when uh, we're continually ingesting these contaminants. That's why I always suggest getting a shower filter. Uh, that's why I always suggest filtering your water if you are gonna use um, a tap. So again, this is one very small thing that everybody out there can do, it's free. Let your water run 
for a few seconds. What I found, uh, I did a few experiments with this, and what I found is, uh, you know, the parts per million goes down considerably the longer you run your water, and then when you get to about the 40 second mark, it kind of flattens out a little bit, and the benefits you see after that uh, kind of taper off. So again, the health tip today is to let your water run for, you know, somewhere between 20 to 30 seconds before actually ingesting it, and you're going to save yourself a little bit of contaminants each time you do that to prevent this cumulative buildup uh, that could cause disease or health problems down the road. Enjoy that health tip. We'll talk soon. Take care.